Electrical power systems will be presented in two parts. In part one, we will cover system overview and AC power system. Let's begin with a system overview. Four engine driven generators provide AC power. Two APU generators and two external power receptacles are also available to provide AC power on the ground. DC power is provided from four transformer rectifiers. An APU battery and a main battery provide backup power to selected DC powered components. The electrical system panel is located on the overhead panel. In normal configuration, electrical system operation is automatic. Basic AC electrical power distribution is shown schematically on the electrical system panel. Let's discuss the AC power system in detail. In this module, blue represents AC power flow. The four main AC buses are depicted on the panel. The synchronous bus allows engine driven generators to operate in parallel on a common bus. This improves system reliability by providing backup power for each main AC bus and allows distribution of external and APU generator power for electrical loads on the ground. Each generator is driven by its respective engine through a constant speed drive unit. Each drive unit contains an interconnect coupling with both manual and automatic disconnect capability and a self-contained oil system for lubrication and cooling. The combined drive unit and generator is known as an integrated drive generator or IDG. Each of the four IDGs is depicted schematically on the electrical system panel. Generator control and generator drive disconnect switches are provided for each IDG. The generator drive disconnect switches are momentary action guarded switches and are provided for manually disconnecting the IDG from its respective engine. After disconnect, the IDG can be reconnected on the ground only. An alternate action generator control switch is provided for each generator. Pushing the generator control switch on allows the generator control breaker to close when generator voltage and the frequency are acceptable. The generator control breaker connects the generator to its respective AC bus. The amber generator off light illuminates when the generator control breaker is automatically open due to a generator fault or when the generator control switch is pushed off. Question. Answer B is correct. A bus tie breaker connects each AC bus to the synchronous bus. Pushing the bus tie switch to auto allows the bus tie breaker to close and connect the AC bus to the synchronous bus if power quality on the AC bus is acceptable. The amber AC bus isolation light illuminates if the bus tie breaker is automatically open due to a fault on the AC bus or when the bus tie switch is pushed off. During an auto land, bus tie breakers 1, 2, and 3 
are automatically open to provide independent power sources for each autopilot. AC Bus 4 continues to power the synchronous bus for backup. In this situation, the isolation lights are inhibited. Question. Answer A is correct. Answer A is correct. On the ground, prior to engine start, AC power may be provided from one or two APU generators or one or two external power sources. Momentary action switches and indicator lights for external power and APU generators are located on the electrical system panel. The external power available light illuminates when the frequency and voltage of external power are within acceptable limits. Pushing the external power switch connects external power to the synchronous bus. The on light illuminates and the available light is extinguished. The APU generator power available light illuminates when frequency and voltage of an APU generator are within acceptable limits. Pushing the APU generator switch connects the APU generator to the synchronous bus. The on light illuminates and the available light is extinguished. External power or APU generators cannot be paralleled with each other or with an IDG. A split system breaker, referred to as SSB, divides the synchronous bus. Each side may be powered by a separate auxiliary power source. Before engine start, Pushing one APU generator or external power switch automatically closes the split system breaker. The selected source powers both sides of the synchronous bus. Pushing a second APU generator or external power switch on the opposite side of the synchronous bus automatically opens the split system breaker. Each source powers its respective side of the synchronous bus. If one of the APU generators or external power sources is disconnected or fails, the split system breaker closes automatically, maintaining AC power to the synchronous bus. Only one available auxiliary power source can be selected to power the same side of the synchronous bus. The last power source selected automatically disconnects the other. When IDG power is available, the APU generator or external power source automatically disconnects. The split system breaker automatically closes when IDG power is available to both sides of the synchronous bus. Question. Answer A is correct. Answer A is correct. If one of the APU generators or external sources is disconnected or fails, the split system breaker closes, maintaining power to the entire synchronous bus. Four utility buses are controlled by left and right utility power switches located on the electrical system panel. Airplane systems powered by utility buses include crew rest lighting, 
selected air conditioning components, lavatory equipment, galley power, two fuel boost pumps, three fuel override jettison pumps, miscellaneous equipment, and electrical outlets. Each AC bus powers a utility bus. Each utility bus is equipped with an electrical load control unit, or ELCU. The ELCU monitors load and power requirements and provides load shedding capability. There are four utility buses. The left utility power switch controls the utility buses powered by main AC buses 1 and 2. The right utility power switch controls utility buses powered by main AC buses 3 and 4. Pushing a utility power switch on allows associated ELCUs to automatically control two utility buses. Pushing a utility power switch off removes power from the two utility buses. The off light illuminates. Question. Answer B is correct. Answer B is correct. We will now discuss AC power system non-normal conditions. The ICAS advisory message, electrical bus isolation, is displayed when a bus tie breaker is open. The AC bus isolation light also illuminates. The message and light are inhibited during auto land. If the generator fails to remain in phase with the synchronous bus, the bus tiebreaker automatically opens to isolate the generator and its bus from the synchronous bus. If it is capable of powering its own bus, the generator remains isolated and on. Pushing the associated bus tie switch off resets the logic. Pushing the switch back to auto enables the bus tiebreaker to close if the fault has been cleared. The ICAS caution message, electrical generator off, is displayed when the generator control breaker is open with the engine running. The generator off light also illuminates. When the generator control breaker opens, the generator can no longer provide power to its AC bus. However, the bus remains powered through the synchronous bus. Pushing the generator control switch off resets the logic. Pushing the generator control switch on enables the generator control breaker to close if the fault has been cleared. The ICAS caution message, electrical AC bus, is displayed when an AC bus is unpowered. The AC bus isolation light and generator off light illuminate. When the ICAS caution message, electrical AC bus, is displayed, the ICAS advisory messages, electrical bus isolation, and electrical generator off are inhibited. The ICAS advisory message, electrical drive, is displayed if a drive unit has low oil pressure or high oil temperature. The generator drive light also illuminates. Pushing the generator drive disconnect switch disconnects the IDG 
from its engine. The drive light remains illuminated and the generator off light illuminates. The ICAS advisory message, Drive Disconnect, is displayed when the generator drive is manually disconnected. The electrical generator off message is also displayed, and the ICAS advisory message, Electrical Drive, is inhibited. If an IDG has high oil temperature and is not manually disconnected, it will automatically disconnect at a preset temperature to prevent damage to the drive unit. The electrical generator off message is displayed and the generator off light illuminated after automatic IDG disconnect. The electrical drive message remains displayed. Generator output is lost when an IDG is disconnected. A disconnected IDG cannot be reconnected in flight. The ICAS advisory message, Electrical SSB Open, is displayed if the SSB is open when commanded closed. The ICAS advisory message, Electrical Utility Bus, is displayed when a utility bus is unpowered. The utility off light also illuminates. Pushing the utility power switch off resets ELCU logic. Pushing the switch on repowers the bus if the fault is cleared. Question. Answer B is correct. The ICAS advisory message, Electrical Drive, is displayed when low oil pressure or high oil temperature exists in the drive unit. The drive light will also illuminate. Now, let's discuss electrical system load management and electrical load shedding. Electrical system overload protection is provided by the load management system. The system monitors the number of operating generators, their generating load, and the airplane power demand on the electrical system. If one or more generators are inoperative, the load management system reduces airplane demand on the remaining generators to prevent overload. ELCUs automatically shed their electrical load one at a time until airplane demand is within generator capacity. During load shedding, electrical utility bus messages and utility off lights are inhibited. If the number of operating generators is increased, and the overload relieved, utility buses are automatically restored in reverse order of shedding. Question. Answer B is correct.